On December 7, 1941, Japan, like its infamous Axis partners, struck first and declared war afterward. Let's start with this. 70 years ago today, where were you? Pearl Harbor, December the 7th, I was in the communications office, 14th Naval District, inside the Navy Yard, and on duty, typing messages as they came in. Everything was very quiet until about 0700 Sunday morning, December the 7th, when I typed a message that came in from the USS Ward saying they had fired on and dropped depth charges on a submarine operating at the mouth of the harbor. I handed that to the communications officer who had the responsibility of routing it to action people. And then I was relieved early to walk back to the receiving station uh, where I was billeted for shower, breakfast, and turn in. I had no sooner turned in than I hear this terrible noise and I go over to the window and look and here are the Japanese torpedo planes using our building in their flight path. First to feel the sting of Japanese steel are the USS Oklahoma and Utah. My old uh, ship that I had fortunately transferred off of in April of 41 uh, went down in about eight minutes because they had their watertight doors open for Admiral's inspection on Monday. This was the Oklahoma? The Oklahoma. How long had you served on that ship? I had served 18 months. When the torpedo planes came in, I could go to the back of the building, look down on the harbor, and see the torpedoes, the wakes of them, going into the ships, particularly my Oklahoma, which was in a most favorable position for them to make a low-level approach. And when I was watching them hit the, uh, the Oklahoma, the Arizona got hit and blew sky high. What was it like sitting above watching the ship that you served on go down? You didn't have time hardly to think very much other than, my God, Lord, this is going to be a long war. Will I ever see, ever see my folks again? Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. What does that date mean to you? And well, what it means to me is uh, a kind of a great sadness because of all of the buddies I lost there that time that have never had the privilege of living and having their families. If you think back to uh, Brady Pruitt, Sam Neville, and Ed Ryan, that rotated uh, yeoman duty in the communications office. And you know what kind of a, a death they, they faced. Uh, the power went off, uh, the ship taking the torpedoes started sinking very rapidly. There was one ladder leading up from the third deck down below, and you know that they must have trampled each other in the dark trying to get out of there. Carbondale, Illinois, the Carbondale Free Press published a, a list of the ones that were in the Hawaiian area, and they had my name down as one of about seven said they hadn't heard from me. Five days later, after the attack, I got into Honolulu to the Western Union office and sent a telegram home to my mother and my dad saying, M. Well, letter follows. So that they knew then that I was okay. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. I have to pinch myself once in a while. Did I really go through all that? I mean, I grew up in Carbondale, Illinois, and Carbondale Community High School there. I was called back in. Well, on our walls, we had pictures of the bridge out in the Lexington Concord area, out there. 
and it never occurred to me that I'd ever be part of history. <laughs>